Welcome to Sheep School. So in today's video, we are running some yo lambs into the shed behind me here. They are pregnant, they're due for scanning. Scanner is coming hopefully today, maybe tomorrow. We might have a look at that as well. And we're gonna have a look at the type of feed they're gonna be getting and maybe a breakdown. We'll have a closer look at that when we get them into the shed. Let's get going. Now I have my batch of lambs here behind me. They are due for scanning now running a bit late with some of the earlier tipped ones they run about 90 or so days so uh, you can see the field here as well left behind me uh, there's only 50 of them the scanner is struggling to get to me it's that busy as anyone that's at that job will know it's a busy time so the easiest option is when the grass is gone i'm going to run them into the shed i'm just going to gather them in now and get them indoors it's a little bit earlier than planned but look it's Simplest job, get them in and get them scanned. He said he might come to me this evening, so we'll try and get them in here. We'll send the dog off and see if we can work it. It's a good view here on this piece of ground now. Oh, yeah. So these are the 60 old lambs, sorry, 50 old lambs. 10 of them were actually running with the O's, stayed with the O's. Uh, these are all tipped now and uh, We'll get these scanned and see how many lambs is in them. Now, i the poor farmer back with me again. Are you not supposed to be doing your homework? No. What? No. Why not? Are you farming with your uncle? His, his mum may not be happy. No. What are we going to do? No, because she said I can go out and shine. Did she? Yeah. Alright. You like the farming, don't you? Mm -hmm. Good man. Can you give me a hand to load these? That's the boy. Now we get all these loaded into the trailer here. I don't think we'll get them all in the one load, but you can't. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now I have done a little bit of an experiment. I've got my hands on a machine. I'm not going to say too much about it. Let's just say this is chopped bedding. Now, if things go to plan, I might have a system set up for bedding the shed by lambing time. Only six weeks away, so I'd say uh, I have a little bit of work to do to get it ready, but I'll say no more about it. I just have to move this out of the way, and my old lamb's outside, trying to get the pen bedded to get everything, get it ready, get it tidied up. The pen isn't, well, it's a bit messy from the O's we're in the last time. So get a bit of bedding in, Get this stuff moved, gate open, lambs in, get this cleared. Hey Pops. Are oh, you doggy? Lie down. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Lie down, pups. Good job. Come on.
Alright. Alright. Now, that's, that's about 40 of them in. I have to go and get the rest of them. Just couldn't squeeze them in. Could really do with a bigger stock trailer. It's only a 12 foot stock box. Could probably pull a 14 foot. I do believe Ife Williams used to make a 16 foot. You might struggle a bit on the weight limit, but it'd be nice. It'd be nice to have that extra space. So, I'll go and get the rest of them. Now, I didn't fill them that last loading because Daylight's beating us. You can see outside, it's getting a bit dark, so I wouldn't have got good footage, so I'm just unloading this last few into the pen. Complete the roller door. Now, your lambs are in the pen here behind me. It's looking like they're going to be housed now. I was talking to Porrick, the scanner. He is coming tomorrow evening. I have another field of grass uh, that the farmer wants eaten off. I'm not convinced it's going to be worth me while running through. I'll see a mite. I don't know. Uh, I didn't think I'd be housing it this early, but I might leave them in. I'll see. I'll make my mind up on that. But the adult yos will be coming in. Uh, they're going to be coming in for housing in probably the next week, maybe two weeks, something like that. So silage and the other thing to consider is the meal. What meal am I going to feed them? So uh, I have been doing a little bit of work uh, for a feed mill, a local feed mill. So I asked the guys in the feed mill if they would make a ration out of straits, so, so not a pellet. So it's a coarse ration, but with just straights. So the ingredients are soya, barley, maize, oats, hulls, and molasses, plus the minerals. So I'll give you a look at the breakdown of that later. Um, I've actually got that. I have some of that. I'll give you a look at that in a bit. It's a nice looking coarse ration. Going to be interesting to see how the sheep like it. Uh, it's a... Uh, Incredibly high quality ration. There's a lot of soya bean meal in it. I think there's 24% soya bean meal. In it. It's not a cheap ration by any means, but. So here's a breakdown of the ration. So it's worth noting this ration has been designed by a ruminant nutritionist. I said I wanted a really high quality ration, and you'll see it's all good ingredients. None of these inferior ingredients such as rapeseed meal, sunflower meal, palm kernels, these type of ingredients that aren't particularly good quality for sheep in the last few weeks of pregnancy. In my opinion, you need the best quality ingredients you can get in a ration. So this is the mix here without any molasses. We're totally made up, totally mixed there no molasses in it. You can see it's quite loose, quite a dusty, fine mix. Uh, you can see some of the um, whole oats and the maize in it. Now when you add the molasses into it, this is what it changes into. It's a much nicer, less dusty 
ration. It just feels that little bit tackier. It smells amazing, it smells so sweet. So you get the added benefit from molasses for the, that extra energy in the ration as well. Um, and it prevents that, uh, it prevents that uh, coughing that sometimes you'll see with a, a dusty ration. So with molasses, without molasses. Now, we're just going to jump forward to the following evening. Porridge just arrived. We're going to scan these yo lambs. here scanning these yo lambs, the power here set up behind me, we're rattling through them nicely, uh, only a few left here, we'll not be long. Single. Two. Two. A lot of doubles in it. Single. Single. Two lambs, one on the right, one on the left. One on the right. And That's the uh, ribs and bones you're looking Correct. at. Correct, rib cage there. Yep. Lamb is moving lovely. Lamb on the left, cross section again. Perfect. Two lambs. Good man. Two again. Four o'clock, five o'clock in the lamb, and yeah. we'll go back up to nine o'clock, another lamb. Two lambs, one right, one left. Good man. Oh, yeah. oh. So it's just the knack of getting on to it. Yes, and holding the pole in the right place. Yeah. Now, I'm Corey back with me here. We're just finished scanning the old lambs. It's not funny that the younger sheep, the hoggets had less lambs, and these seemed to have more lambs. Yes, but you often find a second year round that they will have less lambs next year and then they peak again in a year or two. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're too hard on themselves the first time. That's right, that's right. Do you creep feed those your lambs with those yours then? Uh, from the were born? From the born. No, they never see me. I actually have only, I run the meal yesterday for you. Yeah. And I just started throwing a wee bit of meal at the trough. They didn't know what it was, so it's a bit of a problem. If you put them in too late and they don't know what the meal is, right. do you know when the pull is on? The adjustment is too slow on them then, yeah. Yeah, so they're just getting used to it. But I, I don't know which was the biggest food. <laughs> <laughs> Two of us are famous now. And come yeah. here, what about the scanning? Is the scanning picked up then or is it still poor enough? No, results are very good since Christmas, yeah. Majority very good. Right. Maybe more empty, but the lads probably just shorten the season, the lambing season. Aye. Aye, but, but crops full the rams. Yeah, but crops have got better. Quite it's a little bit better since Christmas, yeah. Yeah, good. The areas were, were probably very average, maybe yeah. 1.34s in cases. Yeah, well, for Main season costs very good. Yeah, good. Well, uh, yeah. You can scan really high and you can have high mortality. Yeah. You can get up 1.6, 1.7 on a trailer, it's not too bad. Yeah, uh, not too bad. Yeah. And are you uh, winding down on yours now, or are you uh, still. Well, I have started some of the soft yours, the lamb yo huggers now, but I yeah. still have maybe a week's work on them out. North right. Eastern country. Aye, the horn yos. Horn yos. Yeah, really. Later lamb and into mid April maybe. So and into May. Oh, would that start yeah. in May? Yeah. Yeah. So right. they're really starting there, but they'll run into May. I have one flock who won't even start in the third week in April. They'll run into middle of May. Right. That'd be a real outdoor job. Oh, 100% outdoor. Yeah. 100% outdoor. Yeah. Lot to be said for you. Horny yos, Chevy across maybe in there. And not a bit of dirt have been brought into them the last couple of years. Just to soften them, but. Yeah. Yeah. No, there'll be no point having any lambs up there. Aye, yeah. And, uh, Mother nature would be too kind to them. Yeah, of course, yeah. So the grass wouldn't really have started no. growing at that stage. No. But well, sure, I'll let you, I'll let you um, pack up and show sure, uh, good to chat. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, Good man, thanks. So the scan is done, Porrick's just gone. We had a look at the figures before he left there, and we've worked out, have scanned uh, at a 49, six empties, 
22 twins, the balance was singles. I think it works out at 1.34 or 134%. It's high enough for Yo Lambs. A lot of twins, I don't generally run the twins with uh, the Yo Lambs when the lamb, I generally pull one off and either sell it as a pet or it goes on to the feeder. Uh, it's a lot of extra lambs, but look, I have to get them on the ground yet, but I might, because I have never creep fed me lambs or fed the O's after they've lambed. So I might consider keeping them twins to the side and maybe feeding them a little bit rather than putting the pet lambs onto the feeder. But we'll see, we'll figure that out. So that's it for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like and a subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.